Say, so what do you do when you lose a cleaning account? You know, it's, uh, it's really it's a drag when it happens, but you know, it happens to most of us. You know, for whatever reason, we lost the account. Um, you know, it could have been because of our performance. It could have been something that an employee uh, did, an employee action. You know, um, maybe the employee stole something or uh, got into an argument with a, a key management person. You just, you never know. Uh, but you know, in those instances, uh, you know, the, you're, it's out of your control, really, because you know, if somebody's going to steal things, you can't uh, be right there by their side watching them all the time while they're while they're cleaning. And uh, you know, hopefully, that most of most of you are providing customer service training uh, to your employees, because then they'll know how to handle any situation that were to come up, so they don't get in an argument with management or with an employee that would cause you to lose the account. But, you know, things like this happen and, uh, you know, you really do, you, you, you feel disappointed, uh, you, you're kind of bummed out and ashamed because uh, you lost an account. And maybe it's your first account that you ever lost, you know, that's, that's the tough one, you know, it's the, the first one is always the toughest. You know, I always say that, you know, uh, the first time you got to terminate a, turn a, terminate a, a client, you know, it's, it's hard. Uh, but sometimes it's needed to do. But, you know, the thing is that uh, when you do lose an account, um, always, always try to leave on good terms. Whatever the situation may be, uh, just try to leave on good terms because you never know when you'll, be, when you'll have that opportunity to uh, get their business back. Uh, that's happened to me a few times. And, uh, you know, that's why you always want to, don't burn the bridge, you know. Uh, you may have to cross it again later on. So, uh, I had a couple of clients that come back to me after they terminated me. It, it was more on a price thing than anything else. And uh, they found out after about three months that, uh, hey, you know, we had an excellent service that Steve was providing. Uh, they should have never changed. So, they terminated the, the company and they came back to us. But, you know, so things like that happen. You know, you can uh, have an opportunity to regain an account that you just lost, uh, depending on whatever it was. Uh, you know, we did, we had one too that we, an employee uh, had stole some things uh, that was out of our control, uh, but that they terminated us for it. So, uh, yeah, and it was a drag, uh, it bums you out, but, you know, the thing is, is that it happens and uh, you just want to accept that and move on. Um, one thing that you can do is probably it's a time to review your, your systems and your controls uh, for something like this to see if there was a late, maybe a little, uh, little glitch in the system that uh, where otherwise if we were to tighten it up a little bit or put a control in place that maybe this wouldn't have happened. Um, so it is a good time to review your systems and controls. Uh, when when this does happen um, but you know again it, it does happen uh, just try don't don't try to beat yourself up about it uh, because you know you you will lose an account and if you've been in business any length of time you will lose an account just don't beat yourself up about it um, you know uh, deal with it uh, accept it uh, then decide to move on, you know. Uh, you know, you're all good salespeople. Uh, you know your business. Just get back on the horse and get out there and get another account and, uh, you know, get a better account. Um, I lost one account uh, that was, uh, over, well, it was over $50,000 account. And uh, I lost it because of a new property manager came in. So, and they, you know, they knew somebody and... Uh, so they decided to get rid of us and uh, bring in the new guy, you know, their buddy. Uh, so it was a $50,000 account, you know, and yeah, that really upset me. I was bummed out about it. But um, about two weeks later, I picked up an account that was worth three times that. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just interesting and I think it's kind of true what they say. Uh, when one door uh, closes, another door opens. So always keep that in mind. You know, the account that I ended up picking up was uh, uh, one of our, our best accounts ever. Uh, yeah, it was a multiple five uh, 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 class A office buildings. 
Uh, they were all uh, three-story buildings along the river, but uh, it, was it was probably one of my best accounts that I ever had. And uh, so, you know, uh, I quickly forgot about how I just lost a $50,000 account when I picked up that one, uh, you know, because I was all excited about it. But I guess that's the whole nature of the beast, just, uh, uh, you know, get back on the horse, get focused, uh, get out there and replace that business. Uh, because there, there's plenty of business to be had out there, uh, and again, you know, don't let it, don't let it wear on you, and always, always leave on good terms, always leave on good terms. I ho hope you find this helpful. Um, you know, if you like this video and others that we've done, you know, please subscribe down below, and uh, you know, uh, like and share the video, and uh, you know, looking forward to doing more uh, on subjects such as this. So. Till next time.